Welcome to Moby Fit. A series created for you based on dynamic mobility and flexibility. My name is Andrea Jolivet. To your left, we have Stephanie. And to your right, we have Carmen. Thanks for joining us. We created this series just for you. Whether your goal is to hit a deadlift, strike a yoga posture, or sink deeply into a squat, you must have proper mobility and flexibility to get you there. This week's focus is upper body. While we're moving through our exercises today, if you need a modified variation, you're gonna be following Stephanie. And if you would like to progress, you're going to be following Carmen. If you're right in the middle, you're with me. So today's focus is spine and core. Throughout our series, we will be moving through the body, but since our spine and our core are our foundation, we're going to start here. So let's find what proper alignment is. And as we take it through exercises today, when I say let's find neutral, which is proper alignment, this is what we will be referring to. So let's take two open mouth exhales. Inhale. Open mouth release. Nice. One more time. Inhale. Open mouth release. Excellent. Good start. <laughs> so we're going to have our feet hip width apart. Let's begin rooting through all four corners of our feet. Imagine we're growing roots into the earth here. Now slightly lift your arches. When you do this, while pressing into all four corners, your quadriceps are going to engage. Excellent. We're just making our way up into that pelvis area. So lower half is good to go. Now let's take our diamonds and place them right on our pelvis. Let's work through three different ranges of motion that most people are living in and then find what neutral is. Okay. So our pointer fingers are pointed downward. Let's go ahead and take them and begin to point them back towards our heels. All right, we're moving into an anterior pelvic tilt. This holds a lot of compression in the lumbar spine and is really bad on that lower back after some time. So this is not where we want to live. Now let's go ahead and take those fingertips and we're gonna point them towards our toes. Now we're really tucked under. This is called our posterior pelvic tilt. Also not where we want to be living. This means we have really tight hamstrings that we should be working through to help alleviate some of this tension. Now let's find the happy medium between the two and take those pointer fingers straight down through our feet into a neutral pelvis. This is where we want to live. Today, this may feel awkward for you because maybe you're a little more comfortable in the post or the back tilt, but we will get there, okay? Let's find that neutral like we just did and continue to work and progress from here. Let's go ahead and just finish up through the top of the body and we'll move on. Go ahead and inhale those shoulders up. Exhale, release. Palms are face forward, just very lightly and neutral. And then go ahead and wiggle the crown a little bit higher while keeping that pelvis in neutral to find length all the way through the neck. Beautiful. So this is a place we should be living. This is neutral. You wanna be walking through the store here. You wanna be standing in line here. This is something we should be seeking on a daily basis. Beautiful, so now that we have found that, when I say neutral, let's go ahead and move forward. We're just gonna inhale our arms up and exhale, take a nice big forward fold. Beautiful. From here, we're gonna just walk our hands out into a plank position. If you're following Stephanie, your knees drop immediately to the mat. If you're following Carmen and I, go ahead and just hang out on all fours to start. Carmen will be adding in some dynamic movement in a moment, but let's set our plank up first. So let's start um, in our upper body. We want to be pressing away from the mat. So we are not retracting our shoulders here. We're completely essentially cobra hooded in that upper back. Beautiful. Now making our way down, our pelvis is in neutral. I'm not arching my lower back. I'm not tucking it under and rounding my spine. I am one long line of energy with a neutral pelvis. Excellent. Squeezing the glutes and the quads just gonna help further engage that lower body. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hang out here for the next few breaths and Carmen is gonna begin to lift one foot at a time to add in a progression. Just making this movement a little bit more unilateral where you have to stabilize, a little bit more challenging. Excellent, we're here for three, two, and one. Go ahead and drop to those knees. Great work, everyone. Nice start here. Let's go ahead and move into a cat-cow. If you're following along with Stephanie, you're gonna move onto your seat and grab around for your shins as you begin to press your tummy towards your thighs and your thighs towards your tummy, and then round your spine. If you're following me, just a classic cat-cow, inhale. Exhale, round, excellent. Carmen is gonna add a progression by adding her heels. So every time she sinks her belly down, her flex feet are going to draw towards her heels, or towards her seat, excuse me. And then every time she rounds her spine, keep breathing and cat counting with me. Every time she rounds her spine, she's gonna plant her flexor feet, so point them, and then press into the tops of her feet as she hovers over the mat with her knees. All right, just making it a little bit more challenging. I like to call that one Turbo Kitty. And whenever I'm teaching yoga, continue to breathe with me wherever you are, just warming up the spine here, inflection and extension. Our next movement is going to incorporate, incorporate rotation, so I really want to warm up the spine. Excellent. Feel that pelvis tuck, and then feel it deeply arch, opening through that sacrum. Excellent. Go ahead and find that neutral spine. Right here. We're just going to sit back onto our heels. All righty. So making our way into our final exercise, which brings in that rotation of the spine. Stephanie is just going to be taking nice, slow seated twists as she gazes over her shoulder and presses her heart through. If you're following along with me, we're gonna start with our arms fully extended out in front of us, inhale. Exhale, retracting that left arm back and then opening it all the way out so that now we're in a T position here. And then we're just gonna slide it back through the front and take it through the other side. While both Stephanie and I are doing this, we are connected to our breath. Carmen is gonna come to all fours. If you're following along with Carmen, your left hand is planted on the mat while your knees are also planted on the mat, hips over them. Now you're gonna take that right arm right behind your neck into a triangle type position. Go ahead and inhale. Exhale, open that triangle to the sky. So you're rotating the chest upward. Holding for a moment, take another big inhale at the top to deepen this twist through the spine. Exhale, come back to a neutral position. Excellent. So Stephanie and I are moving side to side, but Carmen will need to switch sides after she moves through this rotation two to three times. Beautiful. Wherever you are, we are here for three, two, and one. Excellent. That concludes our three movements today, really engaging the core by finding a neutral position in our pelvis, which, which in turn supports the spine. Thank you so much for joining us. Please stay tuned for our next series. We cannot wait to see you. Have a wonderful day, and if you'd like to train with us, we are your girls. Dynamic mobility and flexibility is something that we have a true passion for. We want to make sure you are safe through your movements, and we are going to help you get there. Have a good one.